Hello everyone, in this video we are going to tackle about interest. First, let's check the acronyms that we are going to encounter in this topic. We, we have the big letter P for principal. Principal is the amount of money you borrowed or you invested. Second is the small letter R. This is the rate. Rate is the percent of the principal paid for the use of money on a certain length of time in an investment or loan. Third, we have the small letter T for the term of the loan. This is the time between your loan or investment and the due date. Fourth, we have the M or maturity date. This is the due date. F or the future value. This is the sum of your principal and your investment. First, interest has three types. We have the simple interest, ordinary and exact, And lastly, we have the compound interest. So now we are going to talk about the simple interest. Simple interest has the symbol of I sub S. So simple interest has the formula of principal times rate times T. So in this formula, we can see that P our principal is equal to simple interest over RP. So this will be the formula of principal and rate would be simple interest over principal times term of the loan. And next, term of the loan is equal to simple interest over principal times rate. Next, we have the future value. Future value has three formulas. First, we have the P or principal plus interest. Next, we have the principal plus PRT since IS is equal to PRT. Next, we have the principal times 1 plus RT. These are the three formulas that future value has. So now we'll have an example. If you invest 1,000 pesos in savings account that pays 5% interest, how much will the balance be after 5 years? Understanding the problem, we are going to find the balance, which means we're going to find the future value. Now, future value is the formula of P plus I, P plus P or T, or P times 1 plus R T. So, in this problem, we don't have the actual, um, actual value of the interest. So, we are going to use this formula, P times 1 plus RT. Since we have the value of P, which is 1,000 pesos, the value of R, 5%, and the value of T, 5 years. This 5% will become 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Since 5% will be derived in decimal, this will be its value. So in this problem, we are going to use this formula. So we are going to erase this. Since we don't have the, as I said, we don't have the 
value of the interest, so we're going to use this as P of 1,000 pesos, R as 5%, and this will be derived in decimals, so this would be 0 .0 0 0.5, 0 0.05 rather, P as 5 years. So if we're going to solve this, this will be done. So since our formula is P times 1 plus 3 times term of the loan, 1000 is our P. 0 0.05 is our rate since it is derived. 5 is our term of the loan as it is 5 years. So 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 times 5 would be 0 0.25. So this will become 1,000 times 1 plus 1,000 times 1.25. And our future value is equal to 1,250 pesos. So now, we are in ordinary and exact interest. Actually, ordinary and exact interest is still under the simple interest. It's just that in this, term of the loan is specified in number of days and like in the simple interest, it is specified by years. But always remember that in the final answer, it should always be in years. First, the ordinary interest. It is always, three, number of days is always 360. It's in ordinary. And in exact interest, number of days is always 365 days. So our formula for ordinary interest is principal times rate times time over 360. And in the exact interest, we have the P or principal times rate times T over 365. So, in the future value, or now, future value of ordinary interest is principal times 1 times R times T over 360. It's almost the same on earth and the simple interest, it's just that term of the loan already has a denominator. So in the exact interest, future value is principal times 1 plus rate times term of the loan over 365 days. So we'll have a problem. If you invest 1,000 pesos in savings account that pays 5% interest, how much will the balance be after 90 days? So, here we're gonna find the future value. But, there's no given if, it, if we're finding it in exact or in ordinary. Always remember that if there's no given, like, you have to solve it in exact or exact interest or ordinary interest. The default will be ordinary interest. That is over 360 days. So this would be future value of ordinary interest. So the formula is P times 1 plus R times T over 360. But if the problem says you have to solve it in exact interest, you have, your formula would be over 365. Since there's no given, it is ordinary.
So, 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 times 90 over 360 came up, came up as 1,012.50 pesos. So, this is our future value of the ordinary interest.